hello darlings welcome back to the vlog i hope you guys are doing well if you're new here welcome my name is adriz and i love fashion beauty and lifestyle so if that's your thing and you like softness this is the channel for you babe okay <laughs> they do call me the soft life connoisseur okay so i made some hot water because this is actually a thing in like asia chinese people do it japanese people do it they drink a lot of warm water before a meal and after a meal and like during the day so if you're someone that likes cold water try not to drink cold water because it literally freezes everything in your body what you want to do is soften everything so this is going to allow you to go toilet this is great for your skin so i try to do this first thing in the morning what i need to start doing as well is drinking apple cider vinegar um i went to shop to find it the other day but it was sold out but in the meantime i'm just having hot water first thing in the morning you can have it with lemon if you want or lime but i prefer to have mine alone because when i have lime in my water i have to add honey into it and you shouldn't start your day with sweet with sweet things so that's why i just prefer to have hot water or if you have like a green tea then you can try that as well but i think it's it's good to drink a lot of warm water because when you add supplement to your water like your tea your lemon is not water anymore i just learned that actually that your tea and coffee doesn't count as water intake it counts as coffee or tea so when you have like green tea lemon tea whatever it doesn't count as water anymore as soon as you add anything to your water it's not water anymore do you know what i mean so it's important to drink as much water as possible let me just cream my hands by the way if you're looking for a hand cream if you're someone like me who doesn't like dry hands even my lips are dry <laughs> my lips are so dry i'm just gonna add my lip oil if you're someone that doesn't like to have dry hands like me this is um l'occitane's hand cream this is like their best-selling hand cream you should definitely try this I don't know how I lived my life without it. Look at how thick it is as well. Can you see how thick that is? It's so good. It really hydrates the hands. Like I'm someone that I, I, I cannot have dry lips and I cannot have dry hands. Anything dry, I just don't like. Like even my feet, I have to cream my feet, especially if I'm gonna show it. If I'm wearing something that shows my feet, it has to be, it has to be, it has to be um, creamed all the time. But anyway, I think in today's vlog, I'm going I'm going to show you some of the fragrances that I'm loving right now for spring. Because obviously, I've not done fragrance videos here in a long time. Because I feel like you guys, you know, wasn't really watching. I'm going to include it in my vlogs so that you guys can uh, still, you know, benefit from um, the fragrance content. Well, you guys that like the fragrance content can still hear what I have to say what I'm loving and stuff like that. I just want to show you some of my fragrances that I'm loving at the moment. I just want to... Um, okay, so this is in no particular order. You guys know that I like my fragrances quite strong. There's days where I like something that's quite soft, it's quite feminine. So it's gonna differ. Even in the spring, summertime, sometimes I still like to wear winter fragrances because it's just my vibe, okay? So what I'm loving at the moment is this Habana 500. This, I'm not even sure what the notes are in here, but it just smells really luxurious. It is quite intoxicating at the opening. Yeah, it's quite intoxicating, but it dries to be quite sweet. So I'm guessing there's like a bergamot in here. Better yet, let me just go online and check what the notes are. I think it's gonna be better. Huh? Okay, so Habana 500. In here we have apple, sea notes, mint, coffee, milk, amber, leather, cedar, sandalwood, Umbrages and musk. Yes, I knew there was like something quite sweet. I used to amber actually towards the end. But milk, this is the first time that I've smelled a fragrance that has milk. I guess that's what explains this the creaminess and the sandalwood adds a bit of that sensualness. So 
I think it's right to say the opening, although the top note says apple, sea mint, sea note and mint, I think I smell the leather because there's leather in here. I think I smell the leather. When you first, in the opening, it's quite intoxicating and you have to be careful with this fragrance because it actually sprays blue. Can you see that? It actually sprays, it has color. So you have to be careful when you're spraying your clothes. To be honest with you, I don't spray, I try not to spray my clothes anymore. I always try my best to put fragrances on my skin and before I get dressed, especially if I'm wearing something quite light, okay? And another fragrance that I'm loving at the moment, um, I think it has to be this body oil, uh, Mad Madagascar Vanilla from Nest. This was kindly gifted, by the way. Um, let me put it like this. This is really, really good. If you're someone that likes to use a body oil um, to like layer your scent, this is a perfect. Um, I think the last fragrance, I think it retails for about 170. This is so good. Like, let me show you. So it's an oil consistency like that. And what I like to do, this is smells this smells very warm and vanilla -y. What I like to do is use this on my neck, shoulders, sometimes even around my arms. And especially if I don't wanna wear fragrance that day, I will just put this and it smells divine. Divine, like it adds softness to your body. It's just so nice, so, so nice. I use it, sometimes I use it on my legs, if I'm going on a date, you know, like especially around the neck, I feel like it adds really nice, like soft and sensualness, really, really good. I will link everything down in the description. This is one of the best body oils I think I've used so far. I do want to try the Maison Francaise one. I have a Tom Ford one, but I don't think that's a, that's a perfume oil. I think that's just like a body oil. Yeah, I, I think it's fair to say this is my favorite, my first, this is my first, um, perfume oil is this musk uh sorry music nude is it music or musk or musk i don't even know this fragrance is very very light it reminds me of coco mademoiselle um let me just go ahead and see what the notes are in here oh my god the frederick mal i really want to try that to be honest, I haven't smelled anything from it, from their collection, but I've heard so many people rave about it and I need to go Harrods to try it. Okay. So this, yeah, this is a very clean, rosy, sweet fragrance, but I wouldn't say sweet like in a childish way, in like a more a mature, like grown woman type of way. Um, so here we've got white flowers, jasmine, pink pepper, musk, damask rose, orange blossom, tonka bean, patchouli and cedar. So like I said, this reminds me of um, Coco Mademoiselle. It's very feminine, very fresh, smells like very, um, I wouldn't say sensual, but like it's perfect for during the day, okay? This is perfect for like work. It's perfect for when you're at home wearing your robe. Like definitely you can do lunch wearing this. You can even wear this for date night, okay? But it's more rosy. It's more rosy, it's more warm. Um, if that's your vibe, then definitely I think this is a nice one. And what else am I loving at the moment? I'm definitely loving this um, Latifa oud for glory i'm hoping to get the oud for greatness um sent over um but i'm waiting oud for glory perfume this one is oud warm spicy we have saffron nutmeg lavender agar wood patchouli and musk and I tell you this is definitely one of my favorite ouds this is what the bottle looks like this is definitely one of my favorite ouds okay it's a beautiful sensual sweet oud there's a difference because this um what's this called again this is empathy house of oud like this is oud oud that the, like there's a huge difference between this this is more 
this is more powdery oud but at the same time it's like solid oud where it has like this bitterness in terms of the smell you know where this is more pleasant i think if you're someone that's new to oud i would say i don't um if you're someone that's new to oud i would say that oud is behind by the house of dior is is more because this is more rosy you see so and i think this could be quite light to the nose i know some of you here have said oh my god it's so strong like it's not my vibe i regret buying it Ooh. and some have said the oh some have have said that they love it you know so i think everyone's nose is different when it comes to fragrances but this is one of my favorite scents you know one of my favorite ouds but this is completely different to this where this is more sweet sensual oud this is more rose wood oud sorry and um oh, this is more floral i feel like this this i wear every season there's never a season that i don't wear this oud is behind and i feel like this is the same and a good thing about this uh bade al oud by latifa is the fact that it's like 30 pounds and this is long lasting babe it's very long lasting i i just i don't know how i lived my life without this oud fragrance like it's that good i've been wearing it every day since i got it every day <laughs> every day like it's that good and the bottle is so nice like just it just looks really expensive i love love that um what else am i loving at the moment Oh, I'm actually really loving this Zara fragrance. This is Hypnotic Vanilla Bloom. This is like a very good price point. Very creamy. It reminds me of Givenchy Interdit, the cream, the red one, and Poison Girl. Oh my god, this is very creamy, very sensual, very feminine. Like she's ready to party, quite sparkling. Love, love this. If you get a chance to go to Zara definitely give this one a try it's quite yeah it's, it's it's quite long lasting you know i'm not gonna lie to you this is quite long lasting but i like to use this as a base my battery completely died so annoying um i think i'm gonna sit down for this one because i have some things to show you i have some exciting things to show you <laughs> i have some nice things to show you yeah something from nafan afnan afnan <laughs> to show you oh my god that this battery is flashing too what is happening today um like i said earlier the pr the pr packages has been pring like i've been getting some really good pr packages and i feel so so thankful because remember i told you how the last few months has been very quiet um this area looks very lit isn't it because of the candle wow <laughs> um so i want to show you some products that i have received via post first up is this amazing um company from dubai so i actually reached out to them because i saw that they um they have the most beautiful bottles of fragrances i've never smelled any other fragrances before the packaging really stood out for me and i really wanted to try their fragrances and they had a section on their site where if you're a fragrance lover you have a channel or someone that speaks about fragrances you can request for partnership so i did and they responded to me and they sent me this beautiful box of fragrance i'm so excited to be wearing this um i've already opened it because you know your girls <laughs> your girls impatient this is what the fragrance looks like so this is supreme gala by afnan looks like this very beautiful packaging like it just looks so special it looks like a book basically i love it you just bring it up so push this through and here you have the actual um inside packaging which imagine gifting this to somebody like it just looks really really special i love it look at that okay so to open up the box you have this beautiful uh, metal 
oh i don't know how yeah you have this beautiful metal thing which is like that the packaging is really really nice uh, oh yeah that's it so it's meant to be inside there but i think mine just got stuck it says something here but i can't actually read it and this is what the bottle itself looks like really really beautiful very feminine looks very expensive um i just love this bottle this is the fragrance itself from afnam she is called supremacy gala okay and did i choose this no i don't think i chose this they, they chose this for me so i'm really i think before we get into it i want to just talk to you about the notes in here uh so this is supremacy and uh, i think it's actually quite of a popular brand and a popular fragrance they do men's as well um i came across a video on tiktok and they were talking about this um which is quite interesting okay so i just want to see what their notes are um so in here we have mandarin orange pear pear blossom red berries frangipani gardenia honeysuckle brown sugar caramel patchouli praline and vanilla so as you can imagine this fragrance is as you can imagine this fragrance is quite creamy oh my gosh it actually matches it matches my gown <gasps> okay so close up of the fragrance bottle you saw the presentation earlier just look at this beauty she is stunning okay and that is the name right there she's called afnan uh, supremacy gala and we are just going to open this yes look at that it features this beautiful diamantes around the neck just like that i think this is the company logo the bottle is like a rosy pink we have a rose gold lid like so so i'm gonna go ahead and spray this like i said i've sprayed this before because I'll spray this before for my Instagram and let's go ahead. Oh, this smells so good. This smells so, so good. Oh, yes. Oh. This smells lovely. This is very beautiful. It smells expensive. It smells creamy. Mmm, and yummy, edible. Okay, she's sexy. She's sophisticated wow i love this it's smooth it's a very smooth blend to be honest i wanted to try their oud i was taken by how feminine and soft this fragrance is if i had to describe this in one word it's a soft girl like if you're a soft girl you would like this it's softness it's giving that whole aesthetic she's classy this opens up quite grand and it takes me to the fact that they call this gala like it's giving you that grand entrance this is perfect for evening for date night um if you're going to a gala definitely this is your girl she's very very beautiful um and quite creamy at the same time so i really love this beautiful beautiful scents um if i had to compare it to something that i know in terms of what it smells like i would say poison girl by dior i would say um creed wind flowers i would say uh givenchy linter is it an interdit the red bottle that's what it reminds me of i would say that yeah yeah she's really really beautiful such a beautiful scent i will create some content around tiktok also to show the guys on tiktok what this is about but this is a beautiful fragrance i will leave the link down below for this if you want to check it out she's stunning she's come all the way from dubai babe she's a dubai babe okay also thank you so so much to afnan team for this beautiful fragrance i cannot wait to create some beautiful memories um using your fragrance thank you so so much so another thing that i've received is this like in no particular order I receive these beautiful, I received these beautiful YSL, um, why is it upside down? <laughs> there we go. These beautiful, <coughs> excuse me, 
these are the new YSL Hyper, what are they called? Or our Hyper Finish Powder and Bronzer. Like the packaging is so nice. Gold really just looks expensive. Um, I think the price point for these are actually okay. But what I love most is the packaging. I'm yet to try it. So this is the this is the powder. Looks like so. Really cute. I have a wallet, not a wallet, I have a card holder that looks just like this, but mine is in a grey. So that's really, really nice. That's the powder. And let's open it up. And that's what it looks like. Beautiful. I'm yet to try this because I want to I want to review it and I want my opinion to be literally my first interaction with the thing, with the product. So that's why I don't want to use the product just yet because when I do the video, I want that to be literally my first impression, okay? So this is what it looks like. You also have the YSL um, logo inside engraved, but I think you can take this off. We have the beautiful powder, just like that. I think this is going to be a beautiful color on me. This is the finishing powder. Oh, <laughs> I scratched it a little bit. And it has a little puff inside, just like so, that you can use for the, to apply the powder. And it's magnetic, can you see that? So I won't be reviewing it, but do you know what? I literally took a little bit on my finger it seems a really light texture. Now, when it comes to finishing powders, I like a light texture because I don't like for my makeup to look cakey. I feel like a lot of powders in the past, I think it was the Fenty one that I used and it would add a thick layer of color to my face and I didn't like it. I would just literally like scrape, like apply a little bit because if you dab into the thing, it's gonna pick up a lot of product because it was so thick. So I have one from Chanel. Um, yeah, this one. And I feel like these two are quite similar because the Chanel one, it looks like that. That's what the color looks like. And I love this. So the Saint Laurent, the YSL one looks like that. So you can see the YSL is more deep compared to the Chanel. The Chanel is more of a sheer, ooh, is more of a sheer color. Chanel is more of a sheer color compared to the uh, YSL, but yeah, I'm still very much excited to use it. Um, I like the coverage that this gives me. And to be honest, this is not really a coverage powder. I feel like this is just to remove shine and to just put everything back in place, you know? So this is what I use it for. I don't particularly use it to like, uh, finish my makeup so this I think will have a different use to finish off that makeup so I'm really excited to try it and the color coverage seems okay but like I said I'm not going to give you a, an actual review just yet because I want to use it um, to give YSL a review so just to read about it it says that the new hyper finish bronzers um, they gave me this leaflet so the, this retails for 45 pounds and uh is a multi-use powder the setting powder leaves a luminous matte finish and it applies provides a natural result hyper finish um hyper versatile just like you use it to set all our foundation concealer do you know what i need to try the all our foundation by ysl i used to use it back in the day but no it wasn't the all hour it was the touche club foundation that was the best foundation from ysl hands down and i think i was in like 7b or something no 70 be something like that but i don't know if they still make that foundation if they do i don't know if the formula is still the same because that one was mwah, chef's kiss and the touche clot um touche clot uh serum no not the serum the primer is also really good and they said that the bronzer is um for sculpting it provides a golden and delivers a natural sun-kissed look okay so 
this is the powder sorry not the powder the bronzer the bronzer the bronzer has a brown packaging i really love this one you see how the camera just picks up the color as well beautiful beautiful color love love i just love how expensive these look you know i feel like if you're because these cost 45 pounds if you're paying that price i feel like the packaging has to do the talking and it has to stand out so this is oh i like so this is what the bronzer looks like mm, hey bronzer looks so 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 good so 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 good deep i'm just gonna literally run my finger through at the bottom here because i don't want to ruin it so that's what look at the pigmentation i don't want to ruin the design do you know what i mean because i, I want to film like a really close-up video for instagram and tiktok look at the pigmentation the pigment on this is good i'm gonna be using this to do my contour because this is what i use my bronzers for to do contour and just to bring definition back to my face i have a natural contour right there so you can see that's where i usually start my contour but just a quick swatch to show you i don't want this to fall look at the pigmentation maybe what i should do is put it here can you see that right there I just literally run my finger through it and that's what it looks like so it's a very it's a very rich smells nice and powdery it's a very rich consistency very powdery and soft which is great easy to work with um and the color is good it's really it's very rich it's more on the brown side and not red and i like that because i feel like a lot of bronzing powders tend to be on the red side so far love it and i also love the nars taj not taj mahal taj mahal is the blusher it's print punta cana yeah punta cana bronzer from um nars it's also my favorite and i feel like this is going to be right up there with it can you see that this is going to be right up there thank you so much to ysl for sending me these beautiful um products i'm really excited and cannot wait to use it and also my babes ysl also sent me um oh there's one more there's, there's one more um a fragrance actually i completely forgot sorry so basically <laughs> i received this from l'oreal thank you so much mugler it's been so tough contacting brands just trying to you know make new connections and stuff like that so to have these brands reach out it's just do you know what it is i've noticed with me yeah whenever things are tough and i'm just like you know what god i, I just don't even know anymore god is like ah, 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 where are you going where are you going so he sends in the big boys <laughs> literally this happens all the time so this is the new mugler um hyper sense fragrance now i'm a lover of mugler fragrance this is the hypersense um alien i'm gonna just grab the original alien so that we can compare it while we're at it so this was actually my mum's fragrance guys every time i look at this i just remember my mum. so i try not to um spray this too much but the hypersense in here we have pear green mandarin Jasmine Sambac, Indian Jasmine, Kashmiri, Musk, Amber Wood, Drift Work. Okay, so let's spray this. I've sprayed it before, but I'm just gonna refresh my memory. Just give it a few moments to, you know. Mmm, this smells so good. This is really good. Right, this might be a bit strong for some people, but because of the pear and the mandarin, I feel like this is more on the fruity side compared to the old one. The old one, this is more woody, okay? Let me spray. Uh, sorry, when I say old, I mean the original. Let me spray the original. Yeah, the original is more, it's quite floral also, but it's more towards the woody. It's more woody, in my opinion. It's more woody, it's quite warm with amber. Amber as a note is very sensual. Where here, I feel like we've got mandarin orange, which is more fresh and citrusy, okay? So, and the pear adds a flavor of sweetness. I think the new 
hyper sense it's more exotic more fruity um more sexy actually more sexy no she's sexy but i think in my opinion the um original alien is more sexy because she's understated um she's more warm she's more woody but the the hyper sense new fragrance by mugler it's similar to the alien by mugler which is the original i find that the difference between these two is that the new fragrance has more of a floral note she's that girl at the party who doesn't wait for anyone to start dancing okay she sets the mood like this is who she is she sets the mood she's a party girl she's out to have a good time she's fruity the original i find that she's uh more she's more woody she has more character okay she has more character she's more smooth in that respect so i think in the dry down they dry down to be quite similar the difference is it's just a slight hint of sweetness but i think the dry down for me is more umbery and almost vanillary i don't know where i get the vanilla from because they both don't have vanilla if i could compare this to at the opening which is the hypersense fragrance uh, to something that's in my collection i think i would compare this to let me see i would compare this to flower bomb in terms of similarities right flower bomb at the opening uh somewhere with lancome la vie est belle but la vie est belle is more sweet okay she's more sweet black opium by uh ysl they're, they're from the similar families okay they're not the same they're not the same but they're similar i think if i could um yeah definitely i'll cho i'll choose those they're quite similar from similar families they smell quite similar but they're not the exact same thing because this is still quite different and it has some death okay mm -hmm.